And good morning once again, Retro Commanders. We're back. We're back for more Retro Wing Commander Prophecy. I can't remember what we were doing. <laughs> I'm sure most of you can't either. Uh, so we're going to have to refresh ourselves as to what the hell was going on. Um, but we'll figure that out in due course. In due course, we'll get back in the game and see if we can remember anything. Um, <laughs> It's just, this is a bit of a blur. The problem is it's been a while, it's been like about three weeks. Because last week was the ZX Spectrum 40th uh, birthday anniversary thingamajig. Um, the week before that I was off golfing. Not, not, not whoosh, 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 golfing, but <laughs> golfing. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the technical explanation. And uh, I think the week before that it was, um, it must have been Wing Commander. So um, that's three weeks ago, that's an eternity. <laughs> Who knows? Um, anyway, right, let's do the thing because we have got to do the thing. ZX81 is here. Good morning. First thing in the chat, well done. JF Gods is here. Have a movie is here. Lucky Luigi is here. Come on, the Kilvernator is here. DJ Scribby is here. Winterbeat GB is here. Of course, of course. Um, Frank Minor 2949 is here. Come on, the Tragic Blue 21 is here. The Harkoners are here. And Radio Arrakis, uh, which is always good. Uh, Enigmation is here. Funny Asteroid is here. Come on, the Dusk Thorn is here as well. Uh, Team Untapped is here. The Landra is here. A first time chat from Commander Skate Excellent, welcome to you, go on the skate lock. Um, an Elwick 1224, uh, 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 1024 actually, which is which is 1k of RAM, isn't it? Yeah, see, um. <laughs> <laughs> Last week's Speco Retro Stream was fun. Glad you enjoyed it. And Mother Vig is here as well, as well, as well. Thank you for the dinosaur jokes, by the way. <laughs> Much appreciated. A friend of mine sent me that this morning. He said, do you remember this? We went to visit the Natural History Museum in London and he took a picture of the Stegosaurus, but then <laughs> captions it because I was in the background, uh, which I didn't realise I was being pictured. Uh, he basically <laughs> captioned the picture with, oh look, I, a dinosaur. Oh, and there's a Stegosaurus in front of it. <laughs> Just me. Um, uh, but hey there, what can you do? Um, yeah, see, see you know, for the younger folk on the stream, there are, there are really, 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 you know, uh, there are really, really good things about getting old, okay, apart from dinosaur jokes. Um, and when I remember what they are, I'll tell you. <laughs> right, so anyway, let's, with no further ado, because there's always a bit of ado. Um, that's an interesting phrase, isn't it? No further ado. I mean, what, what does it mean? I think, I think there's plenty of ado about. Uh, but there we go. Um, um, it's, it's something to do with Shakespeare, isn't it? Much to do about nothing, um, which is obviously Shakespeare. Um, is it Shakespeare? Yes, it is Shakespeare, isn't it? Yeah, somebody. I, it's all a blur. It's more. Than, come on, give me a break. It's Saturday, right? Um, uh, right. I need, I need to play a game. No time. That's why we're here. Yes. <laughs> right. Let's see if I can make this work. Uh, Wing Commander, is it working? Yay! There we go. Um, it means get up with it. This <laughs> went to mute GB. Um, uh, the grey hair. Yeah, the fact that all the dumb stuff we did, there wasn't any mobile phones recorded. We did do some dumb stuff. I mean, I, I'm, I've got, I, I've actually got scars on my body from the dumb stuff we did as kids. Still, um, I've got a really nice scar. I won't show it to you because it's just that would just be wrong. Uh, but I've got a lovely scar across my kneecap on my right knee, where I went down a hill. Uh, with my mates, we were basically pedalling our push bikes. <laughs> See how fast we could go downhill because I, <laughs> I mean, why not, right? Um, it's one of those things you've got to find out. And uh, my brakes failed halfway down the hill. The hill. I don't know. I, still to this day, I don't know what happened. I basically, yeah, you, you've, got, you've got the handles on the front, and I was we're halfway down the hill, probably doing, I don't know, 20, 25 miles now. What well, you know, obviously felt like <laughs> 70, which is what we said at the time, and. Um, halfway down the hill. I noticed my, my mates were then beginning to slow down, so it's obviously time for me to slow down as well. I clasp the brake pedal <laughs> things on the handlebars, right? Nothing happens. <laughs> it goes straight to the handlebars with no resistance at all. <laughs> and I'm thinking, ah, <laughs> so there's me going down this incredibly, uh, incredibly quite, quite a steep hill. It's dead straight. Um, but it basically, it's a T-junction at the end. Okay, so there's a left turn or a right turn, but it's it's literally 90 degrees. I'm barreling down there at, I don't know, 25 miles an hour on a sport push bike at about the age of eight. And no brakes, no way to stop. <laughs> so you, you you try the foot dragging technique, but that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't work at 25 miles an hour. Um, and the long shot is I didn't even try and attempt to make one of the 90 degree turns because I thought it's, yeah. <laughs> so basically I just hit, <laughs> went across the edge of the road. Fingers crossed there wasn't any cars coming because in those days there wasn't much traffic. And um, hit the bank at the opposite side, took off, which looked, must have looked fairly cool to start with. Um, the bike went into the hedge, which was kind of across a little dike on the opposite side. It stopped. 
I kept going over the hedge, <laughs> Superman style, rolled and crashed into the garden of some you know, unsuspecting family who were having a barbecue. <laughs> and <laughs> managed to cut my knee and spray blood everywhere. Uh, <laughs> and um, they basically, they were very good about it actually. <laughs> They sort of rescued me and my bike and then phoned my parents who came and picked me up and gave me an earwiggy for being stupid. <laughs> so, hey. Um, but it wasn't like I went to hospital anything. My mum just sort of bandaged up my knee and basically said, don't do that again. And I've got this lovely scar where it wasn't you know, properly healed because it wasn't sewn up or stitched or anything in those days. Um, but hey, there we go. <laughs> Right, um, back to Wing Commander for, for, yeah, for no apparent reason. Um, don't do stupid things because it may leave you with scars, is, is probably the lesson of that. But um, yeah, it was back in the 80s, so nobody cared. Um, kids still do the same dumb stuff today. Well, that's, that's encouraging. I, I, yeah, dumb stuff is good. It's, it's, part, it's part of your growing up, isn't it? Right, so um, Maniac had been, as usual, trying and failing to get on with the ladies in his life. Um, I remember that. I can't remember why that. He, hadn't he stepped down from being a wing commander? He didn't, um, he didn't, he couldn't cope with the stress, basically. So, can we get to the, where's the, I've forgotten where we are. Where's the, ah, it's in the other room, isn't it? Let's have a look at the load previous game, just to sort of <laughs> see if we can remember what we were doing. So the last time we played this was, uh, there we are. Actually, the 9th of April. Look, okay, so there was a million to one chance. We wipe, we, we fail, we zapped some bugs. We failed miserably at something. We wiped out a comms array, and then there was a million to one chance. Okay, so there was some sort of cunning plan. Um, there was some sort of cunning plan involving a million to one. I can't remember what it was, though. So we're obviously, some daredevil exploit is about to happen. Um, and it's going to be up to us, obviously, to save the day. But I can't, I can't, I can't remember what the plan was. Maybe the game will tell us. So um, I think what happened, so Hawk had died. Remember poor old Hawk? Yeah, Mr. Knife Sharpener of this episode, anyway. Because they, um, anybody who sharpens a knife in Wing Commander always dies. <laughs> something to, that's, that seems to be something. Um, so, uh, <laughs> um, oh yeah, the boy mission. <laughs> the Iceman was not proud. That's right. The Iceman would have been really pissed off. <laughs> uh, we failed miserably. I, I think we tried that one a couple of times, but just <laughs> I don't know what. Either I didn't understand the instructions. This game has a very curious way of basically giving you some information about the mission, sending you off on the mission, and then when you come back, it marks you on the specifics of the mission which it didn't give to you. <laughs> Why can't you give me the, the success criteria before I go on the mission? It's like. <laughs> Somebody somewhere's going, no, 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 I'm just the auditor here. <laughs> you go out, do the mission, and I'm going to audit you on your success or failure based on, on a top secret list of mission criteria, which we're not going to give you in advance. It's, it's just crazy. Anyway, um, let's find out what the game's got in store, because I can't really recall. There's, there's some, I think we must be getting, I don't know if anybody actually knows. Here's the flight history terminal. Does this tell us? Um, this is all the missions, but it's not showing me in order, or is it? Uh, I'm not sure which order that's in. Those, some of those missions that we have failed, as you can see along the way. Um, those numbers are going up, so that kind of implies that's the beginning of the game. So this presumably is where we've got to now. Uh, Ship killer acquisition. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. So there was a the the, the whoever these baddies are. Do we even have a name for them? <laughs> the, the baddie insect things. Um, uh, uh, basically, have a have a have a ship killer weapon. Okay. That when it fires, it can take out an entire armada of spaceships. Um, and I, presumably, we've got to. We we I think we disabled it or. Um, or did we capture it? Did we acquire one? I can't remember. Um, um, <laughs> maybe we actually pinched one, or we reverse engineered it or something. Anyway, we, uh, uh, something along those lines. So let's, let's figure out what happens next. That wasn't a very good, uh, apologies for that, that wasn't a very good previously <laughs> on Wing Commander Prophecy, was it? Um, let's find All out. Right. The rest of you please be seated. We have a lot of work to do. 
You've got a lot of staring at your iPads to do. Here are your objectives. Oh, oh, I get to select a ship. I can have a vampire, or I can have a devastator. Crucially, <laughs> I don't know what the mission is. <laughs> and I don't know what the specs of the ships are. <laughs> so I've got no idea which ship I should choose. <laughs> Here's a really important choice, and we're going to give you no criteria as to which, to, which option to select. <laughs> Pay attention, we've got a lot to get through. Um, well, they, the game hasn't given me a choice of ships like this before, so <laughs> presumably that's, is that, that's a fighter and that's a bomber. Um, I, mean, I prefer the fighters generally. Maybe we should take the, the Devastator. <laughs> Surprise. That's right, that's what it's going to do, isn't it, Kevin? Surprise! You chose the wrong ship. Uh, making choices without any information. It's just like real life. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Um, let's let's try the Devastator, because that just... I mean, the Vampire's quite cool, isn't it? Uh, but uh, let's try the Devastator. The carrier group has leapfrogged ahead of Midway and is clearing a path for us to the Kill Raw jump point. Excellent. Enemy forces are currently focusing upon the Ison group and are apparently unaware of the Midway's presence. This carrier group is on an intercept course and its cruisers are closing rapidly to striking distance with the Ison. The Midway so we... will launch a strike group to attack the carrier, eliminating the bomber threat. Okay. Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie Wings will deploy to this nav point. Bravo and Charlie Wings will provide cover, eliminating the carrier's turrets and accompanying fighter craft. But I bet they won't, because they're Your rubbish Alpha at that. Alpha Wing will then deliver its torpedo payloads on the carrier. Okay, so our job is to blow up the carrier with the torpedoes. When the carrier has been stopped, return to the midway. Okay, now the problem with this is that the fighter screens for the NPCs are rubbish. <laughs> so what's going to happen here is um, us in the bombers are going to have to deal with the fighters as well before we can clear a path to torpedo the, the carrier. Understood. <laughs> Dismissed. The ship specs are probably in the manual. <laughs> yeah, that, that papery thing all bound up with string. For those of you who are under the age of 30 watching this, a manual is an old-fashioned way of communicating game information to the player in the form of written words on a piece of paper. Printed several as levels. As soon as you get word from Bravo Wing, make your torpedo run against the enemy carrier. Okay. <laughs> and the manual's popping up on the table there. Oh, I haven't been in this ship before. Look, it's even got a really, really low-res cockpit. <laughs> okay, so... I've <laughs> I've got to remember the keys again. All right, hang on. Uh, G is full guns, yeah. M is missiles. Right. Does it work? Oh. That is a seriously slow gun. Check that out. Oh. That's, that's all it can do. Okay. The Devastator. Wake up and kick their asses! Oh, well, I don't think. Looks like we found some. I like for my wing to break formation and attack now. Have, I do uh, have a storm fire, which you might be vaguely. Gotcha. You useful. got it, sir. Oh, you guys are very spiked. This ship is as slow as a slug. Oh, it's really hard to fly. It doesn't turn. It doesn't Gotta turn at all. Ah! Oh. <laughs> this is not the ship for this job. It's up and good! Come on, fighter screen, what are you doing? The bombers should not be under attack. Don't get in my way. 
there are my escorts. What am I doing? Find kill all the fighters. Then I'm gonna have to. You guys don't quit, do you? That's a hit. Yeah, they got it. Well, that's good. All right then. Right, okay. so they, clear. they did do Let's some stuff. Let's get in line, folks. My wing, get information now. Roger that. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. This is Bravo Leader. We'll make sure the teeth on that beast are pulled. You knock it out. There they are. Let's okay. take it to them. Break an attack, the right but don't do there anything is. stupid. I'd like for my wing to break formation and attack now. Right. We've got him by the balls. Gotcha. <laughs> Hi, sir. Okay. You got it, Those sir. Say goodnight, Roach. Hey, they kind of look like squids. That's a shield, isn't it? Make it. That's right, Mom. Die! I'm gonna have to help them, aren't we? Take out the fighters. Good day for a furball. Oh, well, don't ram me! This <laughs> flew straight at me. He learned the hard way. Maybe the enemy fighters have figured out that I'm a torpedo ship and are thus basically prioritizing me as a target. I'm ready for you. Adios, cockroach. How's it going, folks? They're coming for us. I am pumped. Never been better. Squish! Good as well. Target eliminated. Why are they cutting through? Right, that's what they have cut through. Right, let's target this thingy and get some missiles up. Why is it saying auto? We need to deal with it. Come on. Fuck. Why isn't the missile looking on target? Why is the missile keep deselecting itself? How's it going, folks? I am pumped. Never been better. Oh, okay. Cut his target. Bit us away. Guess we haven't gotten all their turrets yet. I am the king. Time for me to bail. Forget his engines. The starship's engines are inoperable. Maybe we should take out the bridge as well. Oh no, no, the bridge is now. The bridge is now. And the... Succeeded though. Did we make it? This is Casey. I'm ready to come home. Nice work, sir. Nice that new work. ship must fit you like a glove. Oh, it's a new ship. Excellent. Well, at least it carried some missiles and stuff. There we go. We have succeeded in the first mission. That's not a bad start to the stream, actually, because quite often we, can, well, I completely cock up at the beginning of the stream. The Ice Man's going to be proud. Nice moves, pilot. Looks like you've got the right stuff. Oh, no, no, she's gone back to... That's a new cutscene, isn't it? Have we seen that one, baby? 
<laughs> Looks like you've got the right moves, pilot. It was <laughs> she's got all formal again on us. <laughs> right, there we go. Uh, eliminate alien fighters. Eliminate carrier shield emitters and 66% of carrier turret. Oh well, we didn't get a scroll bonus, but never mind. That wasn't a bad one. There we go. We'll, we'll, we'll take that. Yeah. Blue shade, baby. Blimey, no man. The <laughs> sky graphics has really gone downhill. It's the cutscenes. Uh, talk level. Morning, Drew. Good morning, Talk level. Good to see you. Right, is there anything happening here in the. There isn't. I think. How are we doing on the kill ball, by the way? Are we now number one? Because we should be. We're now wolf pack, aren't we? Squirrel here, yeah, 370. Look, there's nobody even close. And the Black Widows. So, uh, yeah, so I'm... That doesn't seem to scroll. So, oh, there it is, there's a scroll. Okay, so yeah, look at me, number one. Totally awesome. Space Puglet. <laughs> okay, so that, that went all right. Uh, let's save the game. Uh, carrier, and that seems to be it, isn't it? So one thing I miss actually a little bit on this game compared to the previous ones is, you know, I know <laughs> some of the moving around in the lifts and things was a bit dull, but there aren't any, there aren't really any places to go, are there? You can't go to the bridge. You can't. You know, there's a simulator there. There's this sort of bar area, but that that is kind of it, isn't it? And then there's the briefing room, and then this is basically where you save. Um, it's, a, it's it's got less character than the previous games. Right. Back Tactical to the FMV. has compiled a new set of mission data for us. Let's review them. Frantic typing ensues. Oh, now. <laughs> Presumably, what's happening here is actually there's two missions to do. Um, and you can basically choose your ship before the mission. So do you want to be on the bomber guys or do you want to be on the, um, do you want to be on the fighter defense things? Uh, I guess people complain too much about the pointless walking around. You see, I quite like, I quite enjoyed the pointless walking around. Um, right, so we, shall, shall we try the vampire this time? Um, we will now launch a two -pronged let's see how it goes. A two pronged attack, fleet. excellent. Oh, actually, we're going on the offensive now. A ring of devastators and their accompanying escorts will make a direct assault on the alien cruisers. Yay. Meanwhile, your alpha wing will clear a path for the midway through this minefield. Oh, well, we're on minefield clearing duties. <laughs> Great. You must eliminate at least 75% of the mines and any mine layers you encounter, then return to the midway. <laughs> Retro 81, Blair walked into the elevator, but Blair walks out the elevator, Blair turns around. Yeah, no, that's, I enjoyed those. Right, okay, we got, we're, on, we're on minefield clearing duty. Great. Time is short. Go to it. Dismissed. I did like the cutscenes, they were fun, weren't they? It's a, you know, ridiculously stupidly complicated launch mechanism this, this, this ship has. <laughs> it, it's got a crane and a docking bay and an airlock and yeah, massive, massive amounts of space and the catapult that chucks you out. Uh, oh look, the ship has actually got, look at that, it's got Rotating. Oh, it's like super maneuverable. Oh, okay, well, this is interesting. Okay, so what weapons have we got? Don't fly into me, you nutter. What was that for? Okay, according to that. Oh, it's down there. Full guns, what we have particle cannons, tachyon guns, and we have spiculum trackers, pylons. That's all we've got. Okay, all right, let's go, let's go shoot some mines. Oh, they're one-shot kill weapons. That's quite nice. 
was going to say, either they need to be super powerful or they need to be rapid. These ones are super powerful. And it has got the maneuverability to keep up with these little things. Hey, that one was mine! <laughs> Spaceship fight. This is not so terrifying after all. Oh, yeah, these guns are these guns are very strong. They're not very rapid, fire, but they definitely punch. Just, just do it, don't do it on rather me a little rocker. Mine's going to show up on the scanner. The other two. Oh, that's about the last of them. Okay, so are there any mines here? <laughs> Kill stealing to the top of the board. Yeah, yeah. So that's. Okay, so it's quite a good ship, different ship. Enemies that shoot back, I mean, that's just, that's just not, that's just not cricket, is it? All right, so there's nothing here to shoot, so let's move on to the next segment. Uh, this is Casey, I'm ready to come home. Nice job clearing us a path. You oh, are clear to land. Oh, that was easy. I didn't even see any mines. Those are mine, those are mine, but I don't want those mines. <laughs> Thunderbirds I'll go. Ever thought of playing the bad guy in TIE Fighter? I should look at TIE Fighter again. We should go and do Star Wars at some point, shouldn't we? That's a good retro game. Would the Iceman have been proud? Great job. The Iceman would have been proud. <laughs> yes, he would. <laughs> look at that. Ooh. Hang on a minute. Okay, 100% completed on all objectives. 98% mission success. Um, gunnery skills, 38% accuracy. Well, I suppose that's okay. Uh, <laughs> nice. Okay, we did all right there. That was good. All right, so we've now cleared a path for the midway to go through and do some other stuff. Oh, uh, have we got... Oh, no, she's just sitting there. Three ladies chilling in the bar, but we can't actually talk to them. <laughs> okay. Somebody... Somebody lounging at the back there. We can't talk to them either. Uh, I wonder why they've put her in there. She's not normally there unless you can, you can, you can, uh, um, you can talk to them. But it, uh, I can't. So there we go. Uh, right. Uh, cleared. Cleared. Uh, mines. Yeah, I don't know why the FPS is really slow in that little bit of the game. I think it's it's some it must be some sort of video codec compatibility thing going on. It's okay here. Well, it's kind of not actually. It's it's very slow here, but in particular, it's slow in here, and I don't know why that is. It's like <laughs> one frame per second, isn't it? Um, I, don't, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay in the game, and it's okay in the full motion video, but the. It is a bit sluggish in here, isn't it? Anyway, there's nothing else to do. <laughs> Speed dating frames per second, yeah. Uh, 
There's nothing else to do but carry on. Into the briefing room we go. Get the iPads out, gents. All right, people, we have a lot of ground to cover. You'll find your mission data on your ISIS. Let's get started. What's the mission? The mission is... Oh. You will lead a wing of vampires as part of a patrol in force ahead of the midway. Okay. Due to the asteroid field, our scans of the area are incomplete. But the field should hamper enemy scans as well. No, the enemy will have a way of seeing through that stuff. Guaranteed. <laughs> Sweep this nav route, eliminating any enemy patrol craft and scouting for enemy positions which may be shielded from our scanners by the asteroid field. Should you encounter an enemy starship, do not engage. Gather targeting data and withdraw from the area immediately. Don't engage with the starship. Your craft will be equipped with a new missile variant which incorporates alien technology. Although more powerful, these weapons are still untried and may prove unreliable. <laughs> okay, so we're taking in some dodgy alien tech weapon that may or may not work. <laughs> oh, I go, why? <laughs> Why don't we test them first, then? <laughs> Gonna have to have words with the QA department on the TCS Midway. Very well, pilots. You have your mission specs. Good luck. Dismissed. <laughs> Something they cobbled up. Um, Prophecy, good morning, says Antilles. And uh, what was the blonde mechanic's name? Um, it was Rachel. Rachel was a blonde mechanic. Uh, Rachel, not Raquel. Rachel. Overly complicated launch sequence. It's actually got a little travelator in there as well, doesn't it? It's like, okay. Lieutenant, please hold off on your current mission objectives and help deal with the enemy fighters emerging from the asteroid belt. Oh. Okay, so that mission that we were on, forget that. Let's give them the treatment, folks. Sure. That whole mission briefing, forget that. We have, we have two. Box one. So okay, that's in fine that these bugs have currency. Uh, established, established a small bit of law there. Okay, so this boy's actually under attack, which is interesting. Plans are completely gone to pass. I have to say, this vampire's got very good guns. Thanks, Lieutenant. You may proceed with your initial mission objectives. Okay. Let's get our ducks all in a row now. Uh, whatever. Let's if get, you say so. Let's get those ducks in a row because organizing ducks is, is extremely That's important. It's a festival of ducks. <laughs> get these ducks in a row. Where did some of these phrases come from? <laughs> who, who, whoever, anywhere has decided, you know, the way to solve this problem, get some ducks and put them in a row. That's, that's going to solve whatever crisis we're currently dealing with. <laughs> it's like that phrase, uh, sit tight. Tight to what? Stay tight. Okay. Does that help? And why ducks? I mean, why not? I don't know. 
Um, sparrows or pigeons or, or geese. Let's get our geese in the road. <laughs> that was oh so nice. That's like yeah, like a piece of cake. Okay, <laughs> that's right. Stay tight, but stay loose. <laughs> It's like it's going to be a piece of cake. Now, actually, I don't know about you guys, but a piece of cake does take quite a long time to eat, in my experience. So, I mean, what are we saying here? That was a piece of cake. Well, that took that took at least ten minutes. Uh, <laughs> totally quackers. Yeah, why is it ducks in a row? Have you ever seen any ducks in a row? Signature wave that matched the alien technology. Commander Finley thinks you may have tracked that other ship killer. Stand by. It's a festival of bugs! That's it. We're uploading a new map coordinate to you. Go there, get a close look at that ship, then get the hell out again. Say goodnight, Roach! We're gonna do a reconnaissance run. Presumably somebody somewhere has got their ducks in a row. And as a result, we've got to, we've got to go and scan them. Um, Oh, baby ducks run and swim behind. Oh, is that why? Okay, I suppose that sort of makes sense, doesn't it? Nice. Um, so, getting our ducks in a row basically implies um, take get, get all the baby ducks in a line. Might be just a guess. Well, it's a good guess. We'll go with that. Okay, let's go and do some scanning of some things. We got our cake in a row. Looks like we got a roll for nasties! Aww, oh, little buggies all got dead! So. Let's fly close. Yeah, so there's... I think we've got enough information. You better clear out of there. Okay. I bought. <laughs> Don't need to tell me twice. I love the missiles. The missiles in this game are very satisfying to fight. They look really good for, uh, for a, a game of this age. They're just excellent. Take everything out with missiles. Have one of those. You shot my missile down, you robot. Ta da! Ta da! Another Federation! And we are clear! <laughs> I'm Z4 Beeblebox. Is that some cake? I'm coming. That's it. We're downloading your data now. Good job. This may give us the advantage we need. Excellent. Hey, we might be on the. Finally, we might be on the. Might be on the up here. Because we still have got no. up Other than they want to kill the Karate and they don't like us because we're in the way. We have no idea what these bugs are trying to do. Well, it looks like the Iceman's going to be proud. Great job. The Iceman would have been proud. <laughs> It's just, somebody somewhere must have told them, you can't use the same cutscene over, over and over and over and over and over and over again because it just looks ridiculous. <laughs> Destroy alien fighters, yay! Defend the midway, yes! Locate the ship killer, we did good. Awesome stuff. Okay, okay, so there's some lads in there. See, there's nothing, there's nobody to talk to about what's going on at all. Um, <laughs> gonna have to do badly just to have to deal with the cutscene. So there's, there's, there's not just like, there's no, there's no conversational stuff happening at all. There's no character development happening anywhere right now. Um, so it's literally just get on with the mission. Don't, don't, don't do anything else. Um, there's nobody to talk to, which is if, which is a bit weird. We haven't had any. That's like we've been playing this now effectively for half an hour. We haven't had any cutscenes, have we? Uh, which is a bit weird. It's just like get get back in that fighter plane and do some heroic stuff.
So if, if somebody kept saying to me the ice, I would have been proud. I would have been quiet. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, no, it's, it's I just okay. Tactical. We've developed a new strategy. Please check your ices for your assignments. <laughs> <laughs> I've just left tactical. We've developed a new strategy. Those words are not the same. Thing. Sorry, attention. Okay, another ship killer. Must be neutralized. Right, neutralize the bad, bad thing. Your alpha wing will lead the attack, supported by a wing of vampires with wild weasel loadout. <laughs> with the squirrel and the wild weasels. Before the ship killer's plasma weapon can be brought to bear on the midway. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to have to replay this because I'm not paying attention. I'm not paying attention. Engineering reports combined patrol data and engineering data indicate that a second fully operational alien ship killer is present in this system. Right, okay, fully operational the second ship killer. Right. Must be must, neutralized. Must be neutralized. Your alpha wing will lead the attack, supported by a wing of vampires <laughs> with wild weasel loadouts. This attack must be made quickly, before the ship killer's plasma weapon can be brought to bear on the midway. What is a wild weasel? Your craft has been further modified with new shield technology. Engineering reports that this equipment should prove more stable the oh, excellent. Well, that's good. <laughs> a wild... <laughs> okay, wild weasel is ECM and anti-radar. It's a real... Is it? It's a, God. <laughs> wild weasel squadron is a real thing. Their job is to hunt enemy... Is it? Okay, so... Oh, wait, that's actually a thing. <laughs> the squirrel and the wild weasels. It sounds like... It sounds like a 70s kids TV show. <laughs> Uh, right, okay, so we've got to, we've got to <laughs> wild weasel the hell out of this. Excellent. Good luck out there. I'm going to need We're it. depending on you. Dismiss. <laughs> Their motto is you've got to be <laughs> uh, All right. Okay, so now we've got the, the Devastator again. <laughs> right. That's a serious catapult, isn't it? That chucks you out of that ship. That's very battle stuff. Let's get that bit. Right. Okay. So we are in. Yeah, we're in the we're in that thing again. We've just got one plasma gun. Okay. Uh, so how do we activate? Oh, we've got an advanced thingy. Light torpedo. And an enhanced T. Is that a torpedo as well? Let's see how that works. All pilots in my wing. Time to go on the offensive. There's a whole lot of bad guys around. <laughs> Showtime! If you say so. Does your face hurt, bug? Because it's killing me. Have I got turrets on the ship that are auto firing? Come with fucking hell. Taking a shot. You shall pay for the seal. You don't scare me. The shield, but let's go for that first. Ejecting, request SAR. Let's go 
looking at that. Be a bit more tactical. You have died. There we go. It's always important to die at least once in the stream. Let's try that again. We know all this. Combined control data and Weird. Okay, right. So. Good luck out there. Good luck out there. We're depending on you. Yeah. Dismissed. Space T. Yeah, the space T will arrive in probably about half an hour, I guess. It's definitely what we need, isn't it? Space T. Let's try and get rid of the fight. It'll give a hand clearing the fighters out, I think, first. Use up the use up the storm. Fire. All right, it's time to do our jobs. Break and attack. Why well, didn't I think of that? <laughs> oh yes, sir. That's affirmative. There isn't enough room in this town for the both of us. I like the storm fire. It may not be the best weapon, but it's fun. Torpedoes. The turrets don't seem to like me. Launching missile. Fox one. That's a hit. Destroying stuff. Oh, oh, no, missiles are targeting this one. time. That's much better. I don't know why they didn't work before. Somebody's gonna have to find me a new ship. Let's see if we can take out the bridge.
Fox One. Taking the hits without doing any damage. Turret fire is pretty thick. All ships in my wing report status. My status is optimal. I feel like a million bucks. No damage, sir. Let's see you hot shots keep up with me. Fox one. Oh, took a lot of hits. It's just gone down to yellow now. All ships in my wing report status. My status is optimal. I feel like a million bucks. Ow! Apparently those bugs are really fun to turrets! No damage, sir. You don't scare me. Okay, now we've got to take out the engine. Wait, you just... Yeah. Missile away! There it is. Let's get behind it. They're packing a lot of guns on that thing. There's a way. Boom. Yes. Oh, now we've got to destroy the other. Guess they'll have to pick up my ship later. Ejecting. Ships are dropping our fires. Get on the turrets, everybody. I've got enough weapons to destroy this thing. Let's hope so. Keep it away. Oh. Yes! Think we have shot them down. Excellent work. Tom's that, Casey. Let's get this. Your middles. It's not a bad ship, but it's not very maneuverable. Oh. Killing a ship killer. I'm beginning to believe your press. We got a cutscene. There's new. Tap into the computer with lots of flashy lights. Okay, there we go. Oh, eliminate six bit. We never get. Oh, alien fighters. I thought we got all the alien fighters. Oh, well, never mind. Apparently, we didn't. I don't know what he's looking at there. There's nothing on the screen for him to actually read. Uh, right, okay, so still no cutscenes. Well, I suppose that was a little bit of a cutscene. Killing a ship killer. Um, right, so that's, that's an achievement. Save the current game. Kill. So the bugs are not going to be happy about that at all. As I said, oh, this we is go? an important mission for us in this system. <laughs> it's always an important. Please check your ISIS for mission objectives. <laughs> when is it not an important mission? Is approaching the kill law jump point. In response, the aliens have diverted what Ooh. we believe to be most of their remaining ships to this system. Okay, so we're heading to the kill law jump point. Strike force has been launched and will be within striking distance shortly. Yes. Okay. Their primary target will undoubtedly be the Midway's newly installed plasma weapon. Okay, so we've got a ship killer weapon on our ship as well. Nice. Okay. 
All yeah, <laughs> all combat missions are important, girl. That's very good point. To protect the weapon and stop this assault. All wings will be dispatched. Okay, so we're basically protecting the midwing. Is assigned to this defensive zone. So basically, don't let anything through to the midway. Engineering is continuing to modify your missile and shield technology and reports that the newest variants should perform correctly in combat situations. Oh, maybe that's my, maybe all my missiles didn't work last time. <laughs> Some engineer had been fiddling with them. <laughs> okay, so don't let anything through. Dismissed. <laughs> Screw you, you should run down the shops to pick up some coffee. There's, there's nothing important about this mission at all. Ah yes, but there'll be a special jump point somewhere along the way, won't there? Where something unexpected will happen. <laughs> I was going to say, coffee, that's important stuff, surely. Protect that gun, Casey. We can't win the war without it. You are to oh. take offensive action. Oh, they're actually I'm here already. Folks. The band is already here. Sure. If you say so, Deal ready pain. weapons and attack. You're the boss. All right. Oh, now let me have this one. Don't get in my way. Let's get those back guys. Off, maggot. You do not comprehend your power. I think we do. Bet they're quaking in their bug boots. Here they come. Boom! Oh, what a shot. That was good, you gotta admit. Strike one. Woo! I'm shaking in my boots. I'll go into the blackness. Everyone's shaking in their boots. The bugs, the humans. There's just a lot of boot shaking going on. Oh. Oh. I do like the guns. This this is a good sniping ship. I like it. I don't normally I like rapid fire weapons, but the fact that this is a one shot kill to reward you to get a shot on a target is really nice. Yeah, destroy. Strike one enemy ship. You know, Miss Ugly. Why are they running away? Taking out the trash. How about a little laser surgery? Space T. Space T is is well. I mean, Space T is 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 basically the prime director, isn't it? <laughs> of space games. Space team. Oh, are they actually? Ah, hang on a minute. They're making it run. Oh, look at that. Oh, you can see the limitations of the game engine there, that the midway is only rendering at a certain distance. I didn't realise the bugs had. Switching target modes! The bugs had actually got past us because they didn't know the midway was there. Keep your eyes open! Let's get the ones near the midway. My Enemy ship destroyed. Oh, <laughs> Los Angeles. 
Uh, <laughs> T's always been important to NASA, that's why you have things like T minus 20 seconds. <laughs> oh, the Iceman's going to be proud. Great job. The Iceman would have been proud. Why do you keep saying that to me? <laughs> that's what you should say. You're freaking me out, lady. Why do you keep saying that? <laughs> Incomplete. Test new missile. Oh, did we not fire the new missile? Oh well, never mind. I don't trust those engineers. You know what engineers are like? They're always tinkering with the things, aren't they? Oh no, that no cutscene. Weird. Okay, so uh defeated attack force. It's just onwards, isn't it? It's just mission after mission after mission. There's no, there's no character development at all. Uh. Thanks to Lieutenant Casey's success in his last mission, oh. we can now use our new plasma weapon to hit the enemy where Ooh. it hurts. Okay, so and that's plasma exactly weapon time. what we intend to do. Nice. Let's not celebrate too early. Because we actually have now to, we're have to work twice as hard because they're going to be twice as ready. Let's begin. The size of the battle group which has gathered around the Kilwa jump point necessitates that the Midway employ its new, its new weapon. weapon. Bum, bum, Due to differences in alien and conflict technology, our modified plasma burst will not detonate properly without an initial catalyst. Okay, so we need plasma, a uh, uh, catalyst for plasma. For this reason, a small thermal nuclear oh. primer device must be planted at the center of the enemy fleet to assure the weapon's effectiveness. A small thermonuclear the primer device. Craft will deploy to remove any enemy fighters from the midway's path. Okay, so we've got to clear a way to put a small bomb in the midst of the enemy fleet, which presumably then we're going to fire the plasma bomb at. The device will only lock on this target. Wow. When that the device doesn't sound like an easy mission at all. Clear the area as quickly as possible to avoid the blast. <laughs> Make sure you get the hell out of there, kid. That's one of the million. Let's blow this thing and go home. <laughs> They're using a fusion bomb as a... Yeah, that's just the fuse. Youch. Okay, so hang on a minute. Think about this one. We have got to fly into the midst of an enemy fleet, plant a bomb... Um, and then hightail it the hell out of there before a massive plasma strike at the bomb detonates the bomb and then sets off presumably some super duper plasma explosion. Uh, if we're going, exactly, if we're going to the trouble of planting a bomb in the midst of the alien fleet, why can't we just have a really big bomb? Um, Stay <laughs> focused. Know, space reasons. Good luck and good hunting. <laughs> First time in history, a fusion bomb has ever been used as a catalyst. We've got extra alert lights. That that means it's a super serious mission. Okay, this isn't just an important mission. This is like a do or die rescue. This is a run on the Death Star mission, basically, isn't it? <laughs> just sort of through today, so I took a rats test. You haven't got any rats in your nose. This is, this is a good thing. Rats in the nose. That doesn't help. Right, okay, so, impossible odds, but what are we waiting for? Okay, so, target disc, ammo one, porcupine, so I've literally got that, some sort of nuke. Aquarium bomb, that's what we need, yeah, Aqu wouldn't aquarium bomb be good? Those were such good fun, I love the aquarium bombs, right, okay. There don't so appear to be a few enemy ships around. Let's well, there they are. We're counting on you to paint that target for us. Break an attack, my wing. Hop in front of my guns, bug. Well, let's oh, get rid yes, of the fighter escort first, We're because we know what the fighter escort is like. Coward, bug man. Got a bead on him. Yeah. Look at that. That's my weapon. Ow, ow, they're shooting at me. They really are going for me, aren't they? Right, so where is the target? How do I identify the target? Ow, ow, ow! That was really brutal! 
That was that was that was impossible. Right, let's try that again. Thanks for the they just went for me. Success in his last mission. We can now use our new plasma weapon to hit the enemy where yeah, we know this. Okay, try that. What the heck happened there? I mean, I just got every ship in the enemy, which I suppose makes sense. <laughs> I am the primary target. Um, but I, do, I couldn't see what I was aiming at. Okay, so let's just check this again. Here we go, right. Because there's the weapon, we've got to point out the enemy fleet dudes. What is the target? Well, there they are. Now we're counting on you to paint that target for us. You know the drill, go get them! What is the target? It's not clear. There's the Hydra. Is that it? The Triton. The Hydra, the Leviathan. Which one is it? Is it that one in the middle? Let's try that one. Oh, it's locking. Okay. So it's like, oh. Is it away? Oh no, it was a lock coming in from Did that you way. see that? Remain calm, my friend. See a little lock on this one. Enemy ship destroyed. What is the target? He's not locking onto this one. Ow, 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 ow. It is locking onto that one. That is the target. Come on. Okay, so the Triton is the target. Come on, knock on. Jesus, he's taking a long time to lock on. Maybe we'll make a pilot out of you after all. Launching missile. Ouch! Oh, that's got her! You need that to lock on. It's not getting shot to pieces. Because it's too close. Ow! I suppose I'll just be Okay, we now know where the target now. is. <laughs> <laughs> Yowch, yeah, this is a tricky mission. Thanks to Lieutenant Casey. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, so now I know what the target actually is. That helps. <laughs> I think we definitely need space tea for this mission. Right, so let's hang back oh, there here. They are. Now we're counting on you to paint that target for us. There's the target. Right, Over comrades, there. make your attacks. Okay. What I could do with. Right, target disc. Okay, so that is the target. So, can I redirect my energy to shield? Where's the energy don't redirected? Check in, they don't check out. One down. Oh, I want all the energy to my shield. How do I do that? Battery target destroyed. That's not the target, says Richard. Why is it locking on? Is the target from color on the radar? So I guess we haven't gotten all the their turrets yet. No, that isn't the target. That's the That's best the you guys can do. The turrets don't seem to like me! It's the Triton, isn't it? Is that the target? Battery target destroyed. That's the target. Triton is the transport target. Why is it locking on target? Strike one. It's not locking on. Enemy ship destroyed. Oh, that goes on. That's the best you guys can do. That's a hit! Almost there. Almost there. Away! Right, shall get, the, be famous for this. get the hell out of here, direction. Good work, Casey. Get the hell out of there, you'll be vaporized. <laughs> Assume you for measure at once. I'm hitting that afterburner. Let's get away. Wait. 
and see what it does. It's just going to be a cutscene. Go on, fire that thing. Here it goes. Is it going to work? It's space stuff is happening. And boom, 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 boom. Yes. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. Whoa. Okay. Uh, just as well, the shields are up as well. Yes. The Iceman would have been proud. Oh, there's Mark Hamill. You did a good thing, kid. You've joined the ranks of genesists. <laughs> People who've committed complete genocide on alien races. Welcome to the club. <laughs> That's another $50,000 payday for me. Uh, yay! 93%. Attached targeting disk to transport. That's what that was. Wow. Okay, so... Surely it's time to go for a drink at the bar, right? Oh, that Rachel's looking all sad and alone. Oh, poor Rachel. Lots of debris. We gave the bugs. We gave the bugs a kicking. Oh, FMV in the bar. Give me a couple more of those big guns, and I'll carve out my own corner of the universe. I have a big gun. <laughs> I have a happy gun. Cute. <laughs> Attention, Captain on deck. <laughs> Congratulations. We've cleared a path to the Killrod jump point. Yay. Next stop, the wormhole gate itself. Now, we must assume that our objective will be strongly defended. This job is far from over. That's the guy in the previous movie, isn't it? our new toy make short work of the remaining aliens? Well, unfortunately, Lieutenant, our new toy turned out to be a fire and forget weapon. Oh. We fired it once, and now we can forget about <laughs> using it again. Our it's a one-shot toy. Commander estimates that uh, if we charge it up a second time, there's a 67% probability that it will cause a fatal overload and destroy the midway in the process. So now, some I'd sort of not fuse would be in order, then. Absolutely have to. No, we'll have to fight our next engagement the old-fashioned way. Mission by mission. And that first Dumb. mission will occur right after the jump to the kill rod system. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> That's handy, game mechanic wise. Yes, it is. Oh, so our weapon. We could only fire it once. I like the way they can be so precise. It's a 67% probability. Uh, <laughs> have you worked that out then? <laughs> Which you didn't sign up on. Yeah, that's right. Uh, how do you work out something that for, there's a 67% probability that their weapon will explode and we'll all die? <laughs> it's a very precise number, isn't it? I mean, 50-50, like maybe. I think it's the sort of thing you'd probably say in a briefing. And we're not taking that kind of gamble until we know. How do you get to 67? I know it's two thirds, but I mean, <laughs> it's a one in three chance. Uh, oh well. I don't care if you bullied your way back on the roster, you're still off the flight line. The captain will eat you alive for this. The captain Ooh. will let me do my job. Then why won't you let me do mine? Because you're not ready, period. The flight surgeon cleared me. The captain gave me his okay. You're the only one that says I'm not fit to fly. I'm Commander Air Group. My decision is the only one that matters. Do you read me? Oh, that's because he got experimented on, wasn't it, by the alien dudes? <sighs> I'm too old for this. <laughs> Feels. <laughs> you are too damn young. <laughs> you really want to do this? More than anything. Oh, 
pilot. I'm a better sneaky. pilot than I am a staff officer. But after what they did to you. Yeah. I want to make damn sure they don't do it to anybody else. You know, I spent half my life fighting the Kirathi. They were ruthless. Deadly. Compared to what we're up against now. Makes the Kirathi look like house cats. Oh boy, preemptive is in there again. Keg says, I gotta do my share. Period. Oh, gonna break the rules again. Many buffins died getting that information. <laughs> um, okay, so Blair's gonna go rogue, obviously, and probably die a horrible but heroic death. I'm guessing. Oh, that's the end of Colonel Blair. Or at least it will be. Uh, right, um, one shot weapon. Man's got to do what a man's got to do, quite right. <laughs> yeah, uh, imagine the testing program for that weapon. Should we test this? Because at the moment, there's 100% probability it's going to work. But if we actually test it, the next time we fire it, it'll blow up in our faces. Uh, right, oh well. Back to the missions then. It's about time for Space T. Hopefully it'll arrive shortly. Very well. Let's get started. Enemy presence in this system is stronger than expected. And the aliens are continuing to bring in reinforcements. Bad news. Your Alpha Wing will provide cover for a wing of bombers as they strike advanced elements of this. As the Space T has arrived! Yay! Space T! Flying Space T! Thank you very much, brother. Alright, so on our objective is destroy everything. <laughs> Excellent. Well, that's fairly straightforward for us. Okay. You have your mission objectives. Destroy everything. T plus five. Best. Dismissed. <sighs> Now what's Blair gonna do? He's he's gonna he's gonna appear, isn't he? And do something heroically badly dangerous and get us all into trouble. And we're either gonna have to rescue him or he's gonna die a hero. So Warpen twenty fifteen. Ah, first game we've played on PC. Excellent. Well I hope you enjoy the retro nostalgia trip because it's it's been fun. It's been fun so far. Right, uh what have we got ship wise? We've got particle cannons, tachyon cannons, and some missiles. Right, that'll do. Particle cannons to power. It has shock teeth on the engine pod, does it? Let's try out these new missiles. Hmm. Looks like we found some. Let's give them the treatment, folks. Oh, I did not think about it. Oh Anti radiation. I don't know what that does. Heads up, people. Here comes the cavalry. Okay, let's, let's shoot some alien bugs first, shall we? Can't have knocked on target. Here come some bad guys. Ready to die, bug? Move the tea out of the way. Stuff is getting intense. Gotcha. I can beat you with one gun tied behind me. I can beat you with one gun tied behind me. You said that the first time. Look where they've got kind of wacky, <laughs> wacky American accents in there. In space. Have you got another thing you can say, dude? Put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> Put that in your pipe. <laughs> How many people are still Watching smoking out. pipes <laughs> in the far distant future? If they made a comeback. When was the last time any of you guys saw somebody smoking a pipe? Taking out the trash. Fox one. Oh, shit. 
things belong to the front. So trying to see if we can. I am ejecting, sir. Request search and rescue. What's air weapon sound? Do insect toys? That is a very good question. Do insects have butts? I mean, these are, these are important. Side of the ship. We've got him by the balls. Don't get too close. Turret fire is pretty heavy. We might have blown it up. Bridge yeah, has been destroyed. Well, that should show him. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Yes, we did it. Missiles don't get decoy now. That's quite cool. They're actually really effective because the decoys that they're launching don't Taking work. Out the trash. You can actually see it trying to decoy and it doesn't work. <laughs> but don't forget to pick me up! Tap Maniac, is he in trouble again? 
missiles, away. Yeah, you can check all you like, mate, for that missile. Oh, no, that one did get decoyed. Typical. Got no other missiles left. Oh, well. God, this thing's fast. So we can take out the turrets then. The Cracked Planet, yeah. <laughs> That's quite a cool little graphic, isn't it? There's one more turret, I think, which might be on the other side. Those turrets keep shooting me! Where is it? it? Must be on that side somewhere. We've taken their engines out of commission. Nice. I don't think there's still any turrets left. this ship on it. Got a present for you, Mr. Okay. Starship. Torpedoes are inbounds based on the hub there. Let's watch the fireworks. Always did hate Brit. What, what's the significance of the difference of color type? Because I'm not sure. I think the, there's like big and then there's subunits or something. Let's have a look at that cracked planet while we're here. Where was that? Can we find it? There it is. There we go. Look, there's the cracked planet with a kind of disintegrated ring of debris. That's quite a nice little bit of artwork, isn't it? Oh, that's the remains of Kilra, is it? Where we we wiped out. We're really taking it to him now. You'll clear the land. Absolute bloody heroes. That's what we are now. That's the ruins of Kilra, of course. I suppose it would be. I like the little ship with the articulated wing pods. Looks like the Ice Man's going to be proud. Looks like my crew will have their hands oh, full no. today. She's not happy. Try to bring your ship back in one piece next time. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry I was doing my mission. 
She's so annoyed, isn't she? <laughs> oh, Rachel! Oh! Aid Companion Strike Force. Oh, we completed the mission but failed bits of it. Oh dear. The Iceman is ashamed. <laughs> No, nobody's in the bar at all. Right, uh, save. Right, so um, what do we do there? Took out, took out more cap ships. Onwards we go. Oh, now we're running around. Oh, that looks like it appears to be a scramble. No briefing at all. <laughs> Never annoy your crew chief. <laughs> Otherwise, they might start forgetting the important stuff, like safeties on the ejection seat. <laughs> oh dear. The dreadnought has launched flights of bombers along with long range anti ship missiles. Your primary job is to intercept the missiles, then handle the bombers. Good luck. Alright, how do I target the missiles? Let's these wasps and get us there in time. Ship missiles. There's Watch one. it, Casey. You know the drill. Go get them. Whatever you say, that's affirmative. But of course. Oh. Yeah, look at that. What is that? B for boost. It's quite cool. I haven't seen that before. How long does that last? Is that How's so it going, cool? folks? Nothing to report. How do I switch the boost off? <laughs> <laughs> There's, there's the missiles over there, right. Okay, we've got to get these captured missiles. There it is. Stay tight! Yes. Target, 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 target. Oh, the captured mi missiles have got little voices. Not bad, kid. There we go. We shall never be stopped. Enemy's coming. Get ready. I bomb. shall destroy you. <laughs> Who's she? I shall destroy you. Lieutenant, you must stop them. You can't escape our guys. Come to the bombers. Are there the skates? Let's do the skates. Let's get the skates. Come meet the maniac, Uglies! Is that boost a one-time thing? Oh, it falls off after being used. Okay. Where's that? There's the midway. We'll have to do better than that, Uglies. Say goodnight, Roach! Bug. They don't appear to appreciate our presence. Enemies coming! Get ready! Not a waste of money. Which ones are the bombers? This one is dead. You shall pay for this human. I can't scan anything. Oh, there's a manta. Is a manta a bomber? No, a manta is just normal shit. Get those bombers. Yeah, well, I would. Where are they? Which ones are the bombers? Go 
You are unable to land. You have died. <laughs> okay, so I I couldn't scan any any bombers at all. I don't know what went wrong there. We we got the we got the we got the um, actual missile on the top of the torpedoes okay, but where were the bombers? Couldn't scan anything. I couldn't see anything obviously attacking in the midway. The Dreadnought has launched flights of bombers along with long range anti ship missiles. Your primary job is to intercept the missiles, then handle the bombers. Yeah. Good luck. Gotcha. Right. Boost engaged. Let's hold these wasps and get us there in time. Punch it, Casey. Break up and kick their asses. Alright, it's time to do our jobs. Break and attack. Right. Boost is on. There's the captured missile. Okay, which ones? Oh, that's the Lego asteroid. <laughs> What's up to those? Right, which must stop them? Which ones are the bombers? All I've got is skates and stingrays on the scanner. So which ones are they? I think skates are bombers. Right, okay, let's see if we can. Deal with some skates then. Where's the nearest skate? There's loads of them. Target destroyed. You are nothing before us. Battery target destroyed. You can't escape our grasp. They don't appear to appreciate our presence. I bet you die before I do. Enemies coming! Get ready! They don't appear to appreciate our presence. Let's get the big skates. Enemy ship destroyed. Class T. I presume that stands for torpedo. He's closing! Let's see if we can get the big skates. There's another one. You creeps haven't heard of me? Say goodnight, coach! You shall pay for this. Those are awesome. <laughs> I think those are fabulous. Oh, are there any more big skates out there? It looks like we've got them all. Yeah, it's right. Now it's just time to have some fun. Ouch! Oh, that's got her! Save all super 
do for pack count I suppose. Sorry. Swarm and storm. I have destroyed my target. I have destroyed my target. I love the French accent, my love. Is the Iceman going to be proud? Great job. She's happy. The Iceman would have been proud. <laughs> You're still freaking me out every time you say that. <laughs> Yay! 81%. Rock and roll. <sighs> I'm almost finished with Space T, so we should be on the top four now. Right. There's people hanging at the bar, but no, nobody to talk to. Still nobody to talk to. Weird. Okay, so what was all that about? That was Defend the Midway. On which we go? Just no F <laughs> not much to interact with. Just maybe have picking his well. name. If we're all here, let's go over your objectives. The alien dreadnought is the most significant threat in alien the system. Dreadnought. In order to mount an assault on this ship, we must first break through its screen of escort vessels. You will lead Alpha Wings bombers in an assault on the enemy cruiser force at NAV-1. Enemy cruiser force. A second identical force will strike at the second advance force at NAV-2. When all enemy ships are eliminated, you are to return to the midway. Okay, so go and destroy some enemy stuff. This is not one of those important missions, isn't it? You know what to do. Yeah, kill Thank things. You have gentlemen. And ladies, and ladies. Oh, we're back in the Devastator. Oh, look at it. Let's go and let's go, let's go do some pretty damn devastating stuff then. Take out those starships and get back here. Good luck. Okay, so. Switching to light torpedoes. And we have. Plasma guns. Milk or the wise, the resemblance to certain star system ships is. Yeah, there's a, there's a few fires. Enemy contacts! 
sir. Okay. That is affirmative. All right, let's deal with the fighters first. Because we know what happens. We don't have He's only got little bit parts in this particular game, isn't he? Oh, there we go. Taking a shot. He's badly damaged. Just wait till I'm done with you. Okay, I think we're good. I think I got it. Stay next to me. Okay, we can rescue you. Any free pilot, please assist. Looks like they were expecting us. Maybe we can help a little. We'll give them more than they bargained for. 
Reporting for duty, sir. Me. You can't stop us. We're here, and you're welcome. Isn't it nice? We can all work together like this. Join the fray. You can thank us later. Are you glad to see me? I think I got it. The Capo! Oh, baby! Yeah! Everybody go! All craft and I wing, break and attack. Guess we haven't gotten all their turrets yet. I really hate roaches. You got it. Well, I didn't know think that. <laughs> right. All ships and I wing, report status. Did you see that? I hit him. I'm golden. I feel like a million bucks. There won't be much left of you to send home. <laughs> Didn't expect that, did you, Bug? I'm destroyed. I'm Taking a shot. Buzz off, Maggie. Box one. Launching missile. The bridge. Does your face hurt, Bug? Cause it's killing me. Drop in a torpedo. I'm out of boost fuel. I've destroyed the alien bridge. Get the shields. Happy dance upstairs. Nice moves, pilot. <laughs> Looks like you've got the right stuff. <laughs> That's not what you said right at the beginning of the show. I've got the right stuff. Look at that. Completed everything. 80%. Nice. And whoosh, into the lift, or whatever that is. Still nobody in the bar. Right, so save again. Right, kill more starships. Right, I think we've probably got time for one more mission. Can we do it? Let's get settled. Now. Okay, our next job. Our next job is a, simple, a simple one. one. <laughs> Reduce the dreadnought's defenses. Primary targets are her turrets. Secondaries are a bridge and engines. Well, let's come up, Hamilton. Count on a lot of come resistance on, on, out there. there, people. May I make a suggestion? <sighs> <laughs> Big sigh. She doesn't like Blair very much, does she? If the Midway launched a volley of training missiles in the Dreadnought's direction, we could distract her fire, give our people an edge. And you think you're a bad staff officer. Oh, As Commodore Blair suggested. suggested, expect a barrage of training missiles timed to the launch of Casey's wing. Now check your ISIS for mission details. All hands are tasked with Blair's getting himself back on the roster. The Dreadnought, that's a serious spidery spaceship, isn't it? 
your primary targets are turrets and shield emitters on the dreadnought, as well as any fighter cover in the vicinity. Okay, so take out the fighters and take out the turrets and shields. And then next week, we hopefully will be able to defeat the enemy bad guys. Engines and bridge, but these are not your primary targets. Okay. When the ship's defenses are eliminated, return to the midway for further briefing. Right, okay, so we've got to declaw, <laughs> declaw the dreadnought. Good luck, people. Those training missiles don't get in their way either. Dismissed. Yeah, he'll be out there, he'll be out there. He's, he's definitely dead, isn't he? He must be, surely. What's the best Wing Commander game to get into your opinion? To be honest, Melkor, I would start with Wing Commander 3, because it's the, the problem with Wing Commander 1 and 2 is while the stories are good, the graphics are so low res by modern standards that they're actually quite hard to play. Let's where Wing Commander 3 is the first moving. time it kind of gets to the point where it's actually really good fun to actually dogfight. Um, so I would start with Wing Commander 3 to get the full experience, but you might want to read up on the backstory of what's gone on to that point. Wing Commander 3 is definitely the decoys are calling the fighters away. Go for the turrets first. Enemies detected. Okay, so turrets then. What have we got? I want a fast. Not fast. Target destroyed. Oh, there we go, there's a turret. Let's go get the turrets. The dreadnought does not actually look pretty cool, doesn't it? Like a great big spider thing in space. I'm just gonna shoot. Fox the one. Thing. There's loads of turrets everywhere. They figured out the missiles are duds. We're in for it now. Privateer and winning. Yeah, Privateer is good. Okay, so the turrets are all over the shop on the wing. Sorted. We shall never be stopped. I am you certainly are. Sausage. 
any yet. Dodge. See ya! Wouldn't want to be ya! <laughs> That's very 90s. See ya! Wouldn't want to be ya! <laughs> Freelancer is definitely on my list of games to, to play. Because I've never actually played it. Either. It's horrible for me to admit that, but I haven't actually played it. I've got the X Games as well, courtesy of Big Boo, who's uh, very generously sent those to me. So there's plenty of retro stuff lined up in the wings once we complete this one. Let's go and get these turrets. Missile fired. on the other side of the, uh, <laughs> the thing, aren't they? <laughs> Alright, come on. Ouch! Oh. Ooh, that's got her! Where is it? There it is. On target, and it's on its way. Go on, go on, go on. Yes. Oh man, are we in for it now? Uh, oh no, more bugs. They really chuck some. Let's chuck some ships out. I'm taking a lot of fire here. Just a big jumping picture star. You saw it better than this. Come and get a little of this. I am vanquished. Take out the bunch of pieces again. Find you there, my friend. Just call it yourself. You don't scare me. Bring it on. Go into the blackness. Still got to take out. Oh, got critical damage. I'm taking a lot of fire here. Me too, mate. <laughs> take that, you freak! Take out more of the Richard. Where's the gun turret? Where is the gun turret? Taking a shot. Yowza! Where's the gun turret? You creeps haven't heard of me? 
still hear them. Where are the gun turrets? There he is up there. Crowd goes wild, first time chat. Sorry, I would be trying to concentrate <laughs> on not dying here. Uh, apologies for missing that. How many more turrets are there? Has this thing gone? Yes, it's all gone quiet. Yes, we got all the turrets. Oh, I think we got them all. <laughs> right, have we got any ordnance left? I've still got some weapons. Let's chuck them into the... Because, why not? I think it deserves it. I don't lock on in there. Never mind. Right, let's get out of here. Look at the state of my ship. It's all on fire and smoke. First time chat from Evo Ketty Prime. Excuse First time chat from Stream. Yay. Thank you very much. Anyway, that's. We're, <laughs> we're just finishing up, believe it or not. Great job on the turrets. That'll make it easier on the bombers. Yes, so for next week we get to attack the, attack the Tiamat Dreadnought. Whew. Although Rachel was not going to be happy at the state of my ship, is she? We know what she's going to say. We're going to get a slapping. You know, you know, Stiletto, I've noticed by the way you ignore me that you're extremely <laughs> attracted to me. Oh, God. Odyssey. Oh, I didn't even hear the punchline of that. Really, really bad attempt to chat up the lady. 65%. Um, oh, dear. That wasn't great, was it? Hang on to your gear. You're taking another pass at that dreadnought. That's oh. great. Well, at least Casey already pulled her fangs. As soon as she's done with, we can make a run for the wormhole gate. Attention, we have multiple inbound enemy contact. Let's go, let's go, let's go! Oh no, it's a cliffhanger to end the stream on. Da, da, da. The problem being, I'm not sure if I can save the game here. <laughs> Thomas, I'm all over you. I can't, I can't, I can't play on. No, you can't do this to me, the game. What are you waiting I haven't got time to do this mission. Up. So, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to stop. Will it save my position or I'm going to do that horrible Dreadnought mission again? Oh dear. Anyway, <laughs> on today's exciting episode, uh, will Casey and his friends <laughs> prevail against the Dreadnought? Will they, will they come in and destroy the Midway? Uh, will Drew have to go and do the things again next week? Well, only, only you can wait and see, I'm afraid, friends. So, next Saturday, the exciting most possible conclusion of Wink of the Prophecy. Da, da, da. <laughs> Take care, my friends. <laughs> Be good. I will see you next week. Have a fantastic weekend. Be good. <laughs> if, if the game will give me my mouse pointer back. Yay, there it is. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye now.